Hi everyone, we're going to prove that 4 to the nth power minus 1 is divisible by 3 for all p positive integers n. And using the definition of di dis divisibility, we can state the conjecture as follows. We can say um, s of n is 4 to the little n minus 1, and that's going to equal 3r for some integer um, r. So for some r. And r is, belongs to the integers. All right. So the condition 1, we want to verify that um, our sequence is valid for n equals 1. So I'm going to plug it in, and I get um, S1 equals 4 to the first power minus 1, which equals 4 minus 1, which equals 3. Um, since um, 3 is divisible by 3, we can show that um, Sn is valid. for n equals 1. All right? Then for condition 2, assume that s um, n is valid for n equals k. So we're going to show that n equal k and use this assumption to prove that it's also valid for n equals k plus 1, and that would be the next term. So basically, our S of K, we have to write that down. And we're just going to write 4 to the little k minus the big one equals 3R for some integer R, where R belongs to the integers. Okay, then we're going to check for S of K plus 1. So that would be 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1 should be also divisible by r. I mean by 3. Okay? And let's change the r to t now. I'm going to make this t, change that to. So some integer t. All right, so that's where we want to go, right here. So remember this. And the next thing that we're going to do is um, rewrite the left side so that matches the right side. So we have the left side of SK, and we want to match it to the left side of SK plus 1. So first of all, we have SK, and that's going to be 4 to the little k minus big 1 equals 3r for some r, uh, integer r. Now, what we want to do is we want to uh, match it to this. So what I'm going to do is write this again. And remember what we want. We want um, it to look like 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1 equals 3t. That's what we want it to look like. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 4. And you should know that 4 times 4 to the k, that equals 4 to the k plus 1. Okay, so as long as you know that, and that's why we're multiplying both. Oh, I forgot to do this side. That's why you want to um, multiply both sides by 4. Okay, so we're going to get, when you distribute, you're going to get 4 from here to the k plus 1 minus 4 equals 12r. Now what I want to do is I want this side here to look like this. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add 3 to both sides. And you're going to get 4 to the little k plus 1 uh, minus 1, which is what we wanted, equals 12r plus 3. So 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1 equals, I'm going to factor out a 3, to the 4r plus 1. Now, I'm going to, um, let's see, 4, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let t equal 4r plus 1. So what we get is 4 to the little k plus 1 minus your big 1 equals 3t, which is our desired result. So we have shown that if s sub k is valid, then s sub k plus 1 is also valid because this is divisible. And if you just look at this and uh, to this part, we can divide this no matter what is inside here. We can divide this by 3. Okay, and we have proven what had to be proven here. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.